Hi there. Hi. I'm here with Adrian Knack from Redback Technologies. And uh, Adrian, this is the new gen, next gen? Yeah, Redback? this is the next gen. Yeah. So a bit of a facelift on our uh, the Gen 2 system that we've seen previously. Yes. A um, bit of few nice features in there. Um, so cool. What, what, what are some of the changes? So a lot of the changes that we've done is to improve the install experience for our installers. Yep. That's the most important thing from their point of view. So it's a bit neater in the wiring system here. We've got, as usual, our connections for the AC. Love them. But yep. also uh, fully integrated uh, DC isolator this time. Yes. And some improved safety uh, requirements just to make sure that it's 100% in alignment with the new uh, AS5033 standards. So Amendment 1. Yeah. Amendment 1. Yep. And obviously ready for the update for Amendment 2 next year. So finally we can say this is compliant. We don't need to have an external DC isolator. Absolutely. Woohoo! Absolutely. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's going to be uh, very yeah. good for all of those installers out there yep. and uh, make life easy for the inspectors as well. Yeah, cool. Um, anything changed down below? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to a 14 kilowatt hour battery cabinet wow. utilizing Pylon Tech's new 3.5 kilowatt hour uh, battery. Exclusive to Redback and at the best price, price point of uh, anyone in the market. So the 3.5, 100% capacity, four of them, uh, so it's 14 kilowatt hours. How much yeah. is usable of that four? So it's 90% depth of discharge. 90, okay. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. Very, uh, very handy. Okay, so that's 12.6 or something like that? Correct. Yeah, right, cool. I that's did mess at school actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh, great, and on the Ouija board, any changes here? No, no actual changes to the Ouija board. However, we have made it easier to access. Ah. So when installers are doing the installation, if they need to access yep. um, to change connections over, which they shouldn't need to do in this new design, yep. you can actually get to it now. Well, you made me happy already because uh, actually getting to that little SD slot was a bit of a pain. So yep. this was really nice to have the, a better access in there. Yeah, we've um, been listening to installers and yep. you can even just slot him out now without having to oh, uh, great. unscrew a whole lot of things. Cool. Idea is you never have to do that again, yes. of course. Yep. But making life easy, not just for the guys in the field, but also for our guys in the factory when they're doing the commissioning of the units. Obviously, all the units are 100% tested in the factory, Yep. so what we want to do is make it easy for everybody, installers, factory workers, the whole lot. Now, I believe there's a new commissioning procedure, You're not just using the Wi-Fi, you can set it up through Bluetooth, is that correct? Correct. All oh, right. Life is much easier with Bluetooth, so instead of fooling around with networks where you've got to connect to your phone, yes. connect to the uh, yes. Wi-Fi. Now, simply connect your phone to the Bluetooth on board. Yes. Connect the, the Ouija board directly to your home network. Yes. Job's done at that point. You cool. just go through your commissioning process. There's no flicking back and forth between screens. All in one experience. Wow. In terms of functionality, it's a hybrid inverter, so it can maximize self-use. It can do backup as well. Absolutely. We've got a five kilowatt hybrid inverter. Yep. And uh, five kilowatts on the backup. 4.6 if you're just running from battery, but once you've got PV, you've got up to five. Um, all pre-wired into the box, including the breaker. The idea is that you take a breaker out to a subboard and do your um, your backup circuits in the subboard. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure they're obviously terminated correctly and have the right breakers on lighting, fridges, uh, TVs, that sort of thing. Now I hear a lot of buzz about virtual power plants. Is that something Redback do as well? Absolutely we do. So virtual power plant is part of our cloud technology. Ouija places all of the data that from your inverter and the batteries up into the cloud and we can optimize based on events. So if a network says we need 20 kilowatts or 50 kilowatts of power, we can nominate 10 inverters and they can all contribute to that uh, power plant working together. Wow. All through the cloud technology. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I see that's the future for a, for hybrid inverters is to be part of the cloud. And Absolutely. You're right up there. Yeah. Everybody's been talking about it at yep. this conference. Uh, a lot of the talks uh, yesterday were on virtual power plants, embedded networks, yep. uh, that energy trading side of things. Great, cool. Well, thanks very much, Adrian. Yeah, it's great to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, likewise. Okay, see ya. Cheers, guys. <laughs>